Hi everyone, I'm Charlie, and this is another lukewarm take. Today we'll be talking about the Call of Duty that the internet hated, called Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It came out last November. Uh, I like to buy Call of Duty games the year after, get them for about 15 bucks, and play mostly the campaign along with just a smidge of multiplayer and zombies, because I always forget how terrible I am. Um, this one, the internet was not having it. I think they even... Uh, uh, threw in the Modern Warfare reboot to try to prop up sales and interest, which I think it did. But uh, I loved it. I was uh, excited for it because I like space combat stuff, especially when it's kind of near present day. This takes place in the year 2100. And um, people that were doing the hard labor out in Mars, they decided that they were sick of doing that, and they rose up and they turned against uh, the Earth. So you're a, you're a Go America or Go whatever... Uh, guy, Reyes, who um, goes in and kicks some butt. So this adds space flight to, um, to Call of Duty and also broadens it out a little bit so it's not just a linear thing. It's still pretty linear, but now there's optional missions and that sort of thing, which I did some of them. Um, I wish it would have been broadened out just a touch more. I would love it to be somewhere in between like your straight-up Call of Duty and Mass Effect. Just put it right in the middle. Give me some options on making my own character, that sort of thing. That'd be awesome. Uh, the story was okay, but it was told in the peripheries. So they, the opposing faction was led by Jon Snow, and they had a little bit of like rise up dialogue and him campaigning against Earth. But it was all in the periphery. If this thing would have been broken up with like some Starship Troopers esque, would you like to know more segments? Even if they were optional or played on a video screen. Um, that would have been awesome. So th this campaign takes the place over one day and you don't hop from character to character like in other Call of Duty games. It all kind of flows together pretty well. But uh, the overarching themes and uh, the world building stuff I would have loved more of. So I got this game for $9. Uh, Zombies, they have way overcomplicated it. But it's got some cool 80s music and that sort of thing. And an animated intro, which is really weird. But the campaign's great. Um, after the people who love Call of Duty move on from this one to whatever the new one is, uh, you might be able to hold your own in multiplayer. But right now, I, it's just... It's a mess. Um, you're just getting killed all the time. But uh, the story was interesting. The bad guy was okay. And the graphics were probably the best of any console game you can get until the next Call of Duty comes out. So I would recommend it, and I hope Call of Duty keeps pushing the boundaries, not just retreating to previous wars or wherever the trend is. Um, they have a three-year development cycle on these now because they trade off teams, which is weird. But hopefully they keep pushing it in weird directions. Because this and Advanced Warfare were my two favorite Call of Duties, and I hope they, uh, hope they keep trying new stuff. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.